And this morning, long lines stretch through central London with thousands queuing up for a chance to say one final goodbye to Queen Elizabeth. Mourners will continue to file through Westminster Hall to pay their respects. Jay Gray has been there from the beginning of the 10 day period of mourning and joins us now live with a closer look at the historic farewell. Jay, good morning. Hey, Dave, Maureen, good morning to you. And look, it has been amazing to see the outpouring of respect and affection for this queen. As the temperatures fell off a bit, the wind picked up overnight, uh, the lines didn't drop off at all. In fact, if anything, they grew, stretching now to more than three miles. The line, like the admiration and affection of those who wait, seems to have no end. She always been there and she always there. Um, guiding us as a moral standard and um, a part of the reason I come to this country. So I, I didn't actually know she meant that much to me. She meant so much to so many, some trading the better part of two days for just a few precious seconds. One final audience with Her Majesty. Earlier, the formality, traditions, and regal grandeur of the monarchy on full display. Queen Elizabeth leaving Buckingham Palace for the last time. Horses, hooves, and soldiers' boots set a somber pace. Her family stoic as they trail the carriage carrying her coffin to Westminster Hall. A path down the mall lined by tens of thousands. The power of their silence evidence of their immense respect. Moments of history. Um, she meant so much to everybody. She gave us, yeah, she was amazing. Yeah. So we had to be here. Pulled here like so many by their pride in a queen whose dedication for more than 70 years never wavered and the pain of their loss. Yeah, a loss that for so many uh, becomes strikingly real, they say, in the presence of the flowers, the crown, and her coffin. Maureen? And Jay, we saw the somber quiet of people walking through on the inside, but what's the mood like for those who have spent the night in line and still have hours before they're inside Westminster Hall? Yeah, it's interesting because you've got these uh, groups of people thrown together, most of them strangers, and, and the time they spend together really creates a bond, it seems. There's laughter, there's, there's picture taking, and, and there's talk about the queen and the monarchy. That all those seems to change in a matters, uh, matter of seconds uh, when they enter Westminster Hall, where they will tell you it becomes very somber. Uh, very solemn and, and very, very quiet, a powerful quiet as you talk about. Yes, incredible to watch. All right, Jay Gray, live for us in London. Thank you so much.